What's up guys, today I'm going to go through how I created this fake hyperlapse effect. But before I get into the video, I just want to thank today's sponsor, which is Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound provides all the music that I use in my YouTube videos and they allow me to monetize my content and stop me from getting copyright claims on my videos. They have over 35,000 tracks and 90,000 sound effects to choose from and they're always adding more. And the sound effects section is really useful when creating those cinematic edits because it has transition sound effects, ambient sound effects, pretty much everything you need to build a really good soundtrack to your edit. They give you personal track recommendations based on the music that you've already searched for. So when it comes to finding a new song for a new video, it makes that super quick. So if you're making videos for social media or for clients as a videographer, then I highly recommend checking out Epidemic Sound. And today they're offering a 30 day free trial, which you can find by clicking the link in the description to try out Epidemic Sound. Okay, so here is my raw video clip, which I'm going to add this fake hyperlapse effect to. And this is a really cool effect because you can shoot it handheld or on a gimbal. So instead of creating the hyperlapse in the traditional way where you take photos and move in between each photo, for this one what I did was recorded the video, walked from one point to another, keeping the subject in the center of the frame at all times. I used a slightly higher shutter speed to avoid motion blur on the subject with the shake that you get from the handheld shake. So the first thing I'm going to do to this is speed it up. So I'm going to select the video clip, hold down command and press R. And then I'm just going to drag from the end and make this down to around a thousand percent. And the speed will be different for every video clip, depending on how fast you want it to play and what sort of style you're going for. Next step is to go over to the parameters over here, go to stabilization and I'm going to click stabilization. And there's three options here, automatic, inertia cam, or smooth cam. I will try both of these to see which makes the video smoother. And then once you've figured out which method makes the, the video smoother, then what you can do is use the slider to turn up the stabilization. And it actually only goes up to three on the slider, but a little hack to the stabilization is that if you click on the number and then drag upwards, you can actually increase the stabilization for this one, I found out that around six was the smoothest. And then the final thing I'm going to do is add some motion blur to this so that the background becomes blurry and it gives a sense that the video is moving nice and fast. So for motion blur, what I'm going to do is go up here to my titles tab. I'm going to go to motion blur and I'm going to use moderate motion blur two. This plugin does not come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave the link to it in the description. It's a free download. So after adding the motion blur, you can see the background has gone all blurry. And if I render this out really quickly by pressing option R, it's going to render that out so that I can play it back. So now we have this super cool fast pace, fake hyperlapse effect. So here is another example. This shot was taken from the top of one of those tour buses. If you're ever wanting to film like a travel video, then I highly recommend doing one of those open top tour buses. It's a really easy and cheap way to see and capture all of the landmarks in a city. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is hold down command and press R and speed this up. I'm gonna to go to the stabilization and then I'm going to drag on motion blur. So yeah, this one also turned out pretty good. It's not going to work on 100% of video clips, but when it does, I think it turns out to be a pretty cool effect. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.